Now you want to align it to the middle, the, to the center. So you can do that alignment. You can increase, you can change the font color. You can change the font color to let's say this color and you can increase the text size as well. Okay, so there is a spelling mistake that I'm committed over here. So I can change the spelling of distribution. Distribution in Spain. Now once that is done, I can uh, change the back. I can put the background to on. You, you can off it, and if you put it on, you have the option to kind of select the background. The color is um, the color is white right now. You can make a color of light yellow, or maybe even a lighter in the custom color. If you select this one, or this is a bit bright. So if you can select something like this, I think that's good. This color is good. Okay. The border lock aspect. I'm not focusing on it right now because in this you can just aspect the lock ratio um, over here the border um, if you include the border you will have be able to see the border over here so earlier this border was not there so if you if you want you can change the border color to blue now if you do it like this then the border color is changed to blue okay now if you come here and use the tool type a uh, tool tip so it's the report page page is auto See, this is now coming as the tooltip. Okay, if you turn it off, this moment you hover, the details will not appear. So, in order to make the details appear while you hover along the bars, you should make it to on. Okay, and um, you have the visual header. You want, you can turn it off or you can turn it on. Okay, so this is how to increase or reduce the transparency of it. Okay, so that's how you. Uh, create a proper bar graph power bi if you can you can do all those things for this particular way and for example if you want to change it to vertical so this is um, this column chart and if you want to make it to bar chart and just have to just click it so it will click on the bar chart over here okay so that's how the bar chart operates okay and for example if you want to put the legend so there is a smart location so if you come here and say that i want to see by property type okay what are the property type so if i if i put the property type over here so if you put it in the legend it will show by what property type you are having so upper total apartment barn uh, like that bed and breakfast like that right and if you want to have a stack of it so it will show you the stack so for example madrid you want you are having uh, most of these things are apartment right and then there is uh, condominium and then you have house and then you have loft these are the common part but across Spain, it is mostly apartment okay 